Chicago gets lucky again and drafts Celebrini, this rebuild may not take quite as long as we all assume. Eight teams are still chasing Stanley Cup dreams, but for the bottom feeders hoping to win the off season, the first opportunity to do so has arrived with the NHL Draft Lottery set to go on Tuesday night. The lottery, as the name implies, is all about luck. Soon enough, we will know who's gonna be celebrating a lottery win in the chance to draft top prospect Max Celebrini first overall in June. For now though, let's take a look at the five teams with the best odds of catching this massive break of drafting at the top of the board. The San Jose Sharks finished dead last in the league this year, meaning they have about a 25% chance of winding up with the first pick. The Sharks really leaned into a complete rebuild this year, trading away veteran Thomas Hurdle, who's under contract for the rest of the decade, to the Vegas Golden Knights at the deadline. While the Sharks have made the second overall pick three times, they have never been first to the podium in their nearly 35 year history. Part of that is because after enduring the hardships you would expect from an expansion franchise in the early 1990s, San Jose was one of the most consistently quality clubs in the league, missing the playoffs just twice from 1998 through 2019. There's a big tie-in for San Jose this year too, as Celebrini spent formative years living in the Bay Area and playing AAA hockey for the San Jose Junior Sharks. You can bet the Senior Sharks are praying for the opportunity to bring them back to Northern California. The second best lottery odds this year belong to the Chicago Blackhawks. Of course, it was just 12 months ago that the Hawks won the 2023 lottery and leapfrogged the Anaheim Ducks and Columbus Blue Jackets for the right to draft Connor Bedard. That is a franchise altering win. And it's actually the second time in somewhat recent history, the Hawks have had a huge lottery victory as they also jumped four teams back in 2007 for the right to draft Patrick Kane. Chicago gets lucky again and drafts Celebrini. This rebuild may not take quite as long as we all assumed. Now the Anaheim Ducks actually had the best chance going into the lottery last year to land Bedard, but were bumped down to number two when Chicago's number was pulled. And of course, Anaheim came right down to the wire with the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2005 with Sidney Crosby on the line, only to see the Penguins land the top pick while the Ducks had to settle for number two. Having missed out on not one, but two generational players in the past 20 years can make a strong case that the Ducks deserve some good lottery luck this year and the right to add Celebrini to an already intriguing pack of prospects and young players. After picking third overall last June, the Columbus Blue Jackets definitely didn't expect to be in the mix for the top pick again this year, which is why former GM Jarmo Kekalainen was fired in season. So here they are again, wondering if the lottery balls will fall their way this time. Columbus did walk away with Adam Fantilli at number three last year, so they already have a foundational center in place. If the Jackets don't win the lottery, could they be a team that would consider trading a high pick for a still young player who could help them right now. Columbus is obviously not gonna tip its hand, but the team will have a new GM in place before the draft, and he or she may wanna shake things up in Central Ohio. Finally, the team with the fifth best odds of drafting first overall are the Montreal Canadiens. And if you're sensing a theme here, yes, the bottom five teams from last year are in fact the same five clubs that finished in slots 28 through 32 in the standings in 2024. Now the Habs picked Uri Slavkovsky first overall in 2022. And while that's starting to look like a smart selection, it's worth noting there wasn't a runaway favorite to go in the top spot that year the way there is this time out with Celebrini. The surprise first overall selection in 2024 would give the Habs a chance to add the kind of no doubt high-end talent that could be the one thing their big rebuild is missing. Now let's get a look at the full draft lottery odds. Could you imagine what a welcome to the NHL moment it would be if Utah won the first overall pick? The Flyers fought so hard for the playoffs this year. Wouldn't you love to see them get some good luck and move way off the draft board? Okay, I'm Ryan Dixon. That's all the time we have for now. But if you're a fan of any team in the lottery, go grab a rabbit's foot, get ready for the big night, and we'll see you back here very soon on the Sportsnet Power Rankings.